That's a dead kid. In a previous video, I discussed the About section and what it might mean. In it, I detailed the ambiguity of the About section's description surrounding the word recordings, specifically the phrasing recordings in versus of Petscop. I suggest re-watching that video because it means I get more views, and maybe you'll learn something about Petscop, I don't know. The conclusion I came to, though not explored in the video as much, was that unless specified as recordings of Petscop or video recordings, the recordings were referring to in-game demo modes that replay inputs of past playthroughs. The recordings refer to inputs recorded from a controller, not video recordings of game footage. So with that in mind, let's explore this about section change that just happened today, January 27th, 2019. So what does it say? Some select pets got recordings. In a way, recordings have the power to raise the dead. They're kind of scary. Currently hunting for hidden content. Notice the first sentence. It is once again referring to the recordings and not the videos or footage. This reinforces the idea that whoever is posting these descriptions understands the in versus of dynamic around the word. The select qualifier indicates censorship, which we already know about. Not much else can be gleaned from that. Also, as a side note, the quotation marks around the word Petscop probably refers to the game being multifaceted and deeper than the base game. The title Petscop is used to describe the channel's videos, but is used in a sarcastic way, because the game goes much deeper than the base game. The second sentence is actually not too hard to decipher because of these three words, in a way. In a way, recordings have the power to raise the dead. They're kind of scary, so they aren't actually raising the dead possibly not even raising the in-game version of the dead. So what does raising the dead in a way mean? Well, once again, the word recordings plays a large part. What are the recordings? They're inputs of previous plays. Previous plays means previous players. The game has been around for some time, possibly 1996, so previous players might have died since then, but their actions are still played out in the game via recordings. The sentence in a way, recordings of the power to raise the dead, they're kind of scary, can be theorized to mean the inputs of the dead replaying themselves creep me out. However, they're kind of scary can mean two things. One, the concept of dead people's inputs scares this person, or two, the inputs and actions that the recordings play out are of an unnerving nature. I don't know which of the two the description is referring to. This culminates in the final sentence, currently hunting for hidden content. Now in terms of content, it may be many things. Videos, areas in the game, recordings, any of them. Meta-wise though, it's probably the Petscop creator telling us to be patient and that the series isn't over yet, so that's nice of him. However, it may have a double meaning. What is hidden content? Well, if we follow the motif of recordings replaying past inputs, the hidden content may refer to replays of demo sequences in parts of Petscop 11, Petscop 12, and Petscop 15. These three episodes make up the bulk of the demo sequence sub-story that is currently playing out. So for the hidden content to be these demo sequences, it would make sense storytelling-wise, because the story of the demo versions of Paul, Marvin, and Belle have yet to be fleshed out. Now this next theory is a bit of a stretch, and not everything is accounted for or explained by the Petscop videos, but here we go. This description may be an explanation for Petscop 16, to an extent. What do we know in relation to how people find replays in Petscop demos? They linger on the start screen and make no inputs. It will eventually play a demo. Now remember what the orange room is called in Petscop 16. The ghost room slash testing room. If someone is testing to find select Petscop demo recordings, then they'd simply keep the console running and wait for the correct demos to come up. If the demos do change things in the base game, which we can see Paul doing in Petscop 14, then someone would need to make sure that if the game froze, the game changes or something else happens, a failsafe would be implemented to save progress or record changes. So when Petscop 16 starts the same way Petscop 14 ends, frozen with the blank text box, the text we see pop up and the room might be a failsafe kicking in. This orange room might be their testing room, but if the idea about dead people's inputs is correct, it might also be called their ghost room. 
so there is a possibility that Petscop 16 is a result of the game freezing while testing to find footage. This theory is far from cement though, as you can tell all I have is some correlation. I know there's no demo sign signifying a demo sequence, but maybe the game froze during the intermittent flashing that the sign does. We know it doesn't disappear when the game freezes, so that's not an explanation. Maybe it was censored. I don't know, I might be wrong. What about all of this? I don't know, but at least we have some correlation to an extent. The real question is, out of the known names of Petscop, who are the dead players?